Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I organized my Alex 5 drawers. This isn't going to be like an in-depth makeup collection or anything like that because the actual products that I do have in my collection really hasn't changed that much from when I did my last makeup collection. I will have that link down below. I believe I filmed that this past January, but how I stored my makeup now is so different. I did recently get an Alex 5 drawer and a bunch of organizers and stuff, and I'm super excited to show you guys because I know so many people have these drawers, whether you're a YouTuber or just a makeup collector and lover you guys know that these are absolutely awesome for storing makeup and that is why literally every beauty guru on YouTube has them so I'm gonna be taking you step by step through each drawer telling you guys where the organizers are from maybe the dimensions of the organizers the dimensions of the drawers how I stored the makeup meaning like what products I kind of grouped together to get like the maximum usage out of the drawer and everything like that I have to say when it comes to like using up the maximum space in the drawer I was having trouble finding organizers that would would fit like back to back side to side really identical to kind of make sure a lot fit in the drawer but this is what I came up with and all the organizers were pretty inexpensive I will have linked down below all the organizers that I use in my Alex drawer as well as the prices of them and stuff like that also let me know down below if you have any tips or trick for organizing your Alex drawers or what um, organizers that you like to use just to help everyone out I think that would be really cool to leave a comment down below and I think that's it. So I really hope that you guys enjoy this video and let's just get into the organization. Okay, so here's where I keep my Alex 5 drawer unit. If you guys saw my makeup collection back in January, then this is my vanity right here. And I just put my Alex drawer to the left of my vanity. I just kind of shifted everything over a little bit. So it's pretty center with my window. The actual, this is the Mickey one person computer desk that I use to um, do my makeup and sit at. The Alex drawers are just a little bit deeper. So they don't like line up perfectly next to each other I kind of just had to push the Alex drawers back and move the vanity a little bit forward so everything matched up a little bit better so here are the full drawers just a little overview the first two drawers are going to be a little bit more shallow these ones are only about two inches tall and then the last three drawers are a little bit more deep and they are about four inches tall so if you have any taller products that is definitely more ideal so just to show you guys what's on top of my Alex drawer because I guess that's a part of the organization as well right there on top I have a bunch of palettes these are just like my most loved my most used as well as just palettes that I want to have out so I could use more and then my Kevin Aquan making faces book the palette organizer is an acrylic palette organizer from by allegory I will have that link down below so you guys can get your hands on it if you are interested I definitely think that it is awesome for holding palettes all right, so I know that this is a little bit of an awkward angle, but this is going to be the first drawer in the Alex drawer unit. This is one of the smaller drawers, and I just wanted to mention that the dimensions on this are going to be 11 across this way, 20 deep, and then two inches high on these sides. So basically, here are the first organizers that I wanted to show you guys. This is by the brand Story, S-T-O-R-I. These are the acrylic organizers, and these are going to be nine inches long, three inches wide, and then about two inches tall, a little bit short of two inches tall, maybe like 1.7, 1.8 inches tall on this side. I really, really love these. They are super nicely made, and you can get these in a pack of six for $12 on Amazon. So that makes them about $2 each, which isn't bad at all compared to some organizers I've seen from the container store sizes like this can easily go for like seven or eight dollars each which is crazy so I definitely did my research and I think that Amazon is the best place or a place like TJ Maxx or Marshalls which I will get into in a little while I found some organizers from there as well so when it comes to these organizers these are only going to fit three across leaving you a little bit of extra room on the side I personally do not mind the extra room for anything that doesn't fit in these um, or like larger like palettes or something like like this that won't necessarily fit in one of these containers I really like to just have this down the side and also this has a lot of extra room in the back but these will fit really nicely back to back so just for reference you guys can fit six of these in the drawer if you want to center them you could have three in front and three in the back and they will fit the only thing I don't love about Alex drawers is as you can see I don't know how well you can see right now there's a lot of space back here so if I did have an organizer um, I probably wouldn't be able to reach the back of it but if you just reach your hand in there if you want to pull the organizer out to get whatever you want that's okay I just really wanted to keep the organizers towards the front of my drawer for now they are super nicely made they're definitely a hard plastic or more of an acrylic and I really like how these store smaller products especially like pencils mascaras and things like that 
So here's the second drawer of my Alex drawer. Again, this is going to be the drawer that is only two inches tall, the smaller drawer. But I really want to show you about this drawer are these compact organizers. So I use this to house powders, blushes, bronzers, highlighters, and these are literally the perfect organizers. They are so inexpensive. I know so many brands have something like this, but they are going to be a little bit more pricey. These ones I found on Amazon. And so these are the Venser powder organizers. This is the larger of the ones that they sell. And I originally picked these up for $8.99, but right now they're actually on sale for $7.94. So I just thought that these were an awesome deal. And these are such awesome quality. These actually feel even nicer than the story ones that I got. These are definitely a thick acrylic. And I really just love how these store the powders. They sit really well. They don't shake around too much when I open and close the drawer. Just for reference, the only thing, the only smaller compact that I have that didn't fit is something like the butter bronzer. It's a little bit too wide this way to really fit back to back. So I just tucked it in a corner there. Again, you are gonna have a little bit leftover room on the side. This one only gives you about an inch and a half of leftover space because these are three and a half inches wide, the compact organizers. So you are gonna have a little bit of leftover room, but again, that's really something that I don't mind because of something like this. I could stick some little palettes back there. I have like my little Mac Nutcracker if it's perfectly down the side. So I really just love the little extra room on the side for that reason. And then just for reference, some other things that won't fit in these organizers are like a skin frost, obviously way too big, big for these organizers, but I do have some extra room in the back where I just store some larger palettes and things like that. I believe that you can fit two of these back to back, but just because the drawer doesn't reach out all the way, I feel like it would just be hard to kind of pull the compacts out, but you can fit a good number of these compacts if you start turning the compact holders um, horizontal this way. I believe that you can fit multiple going back, but again, it's just going to be a little bit harder to reach in the back to pull the compact up and out of the actual organizer. So that is why, again, I just left it empty and just have room for some bigger things. But I do have one other compact organizer here, which is the same story one that I showed you guys in the last drawer. This I just really enjoy using for smaller things, something like my ColourPop or some cream contour sticks. ColourPop will fit in these compact organizers, as you can see, but there's not really room for a second one to fit comfortably. And I just felt like these were too small to have fill up one of these. I would have wasted like six of them when all my other compacts fit pretty perfectly. So I figured I would just use a little organizer like this. And those do fit really nicely back to back with the compact organizers. That pretty much goes all the way to the back of the drawer. So I figured I would just put my ColourPop ones in there just to save up some space. And then also another helpful tip, if you have something that doesn't fit, but you don't want it flat in the drawer, I kind of just tuck this in between the two organizers. So it kind of still looks like it has a space in the compact holder, if you guys know what I mean. I don't know, that's just me. I like everything to look a certain way. And I also like that I do have the room to put more of these story organizers back here. I just like that all my drawers aren't completely filled up yet or tied down to a certain kind of organizer. I do like that there is room for growth in my collection and pretty much all of my drawers. Oh, and before I continue on, I did wanna mention that I did go ahead and line my drawers, as you guys can see, probably a little bit better in this drawer. I lined it with the drawer grip so nothing would slide around too badly when I'm opening and closing the drawers. I just found mine from my local dollar store and it works really well because the acrylic organizers do tend to kind of slip and slide around when you open and close these drawers. So, so going on into the first deeper drawer of my Alex drawers, just to go over some basic dimensions, these ones are gonna be about four inches high this way, again, 11 and then again, 20 deep. So the the width and then the depth pretty much are the same. Just how tall the drawer is is going to change. The top ones are two inches tall and then the bottom ones are four inches tall this way. So the first organizer in here that I want to show you guys, this one is the story one that I was talking about that came from Amazon in the pack of six. Again, nine inches long by three by one and a half inches or something like that tall. I really love these organizers. Again, even in this kind of drawer, these can definitely be stacked. 
I just love them especially for something like concealers I just think it fits my concealer super well and I just kind of have this one tucked in the front of the drawer I'm not sure how well you guys can see that um, and then again I do have a lot of space on the side as well as in the back so I just threw some bigger stuff in here like again like a powder that wouldn't necessarily fit in this drawer where I have my other powders I figured that I would just put it in here to maximize some space getting into the other organizers this is one of those Marshall TJ Maxx home goods finds that I keep telling you guys to look out for they have such an awesome selection of acrylic organizers sometimes I even started collecting before I even got my Alex Shores this one is by the brand totally living and this is one of the biggest organizers that I have this was $2.99 from Marshall's unfortunately I can't find this online anymore but definitely check your local Marshall's TJ Maxx home goods to see if they have this stocked as you can see this one is definitely deeper I have about two layers of primers and stuff in there I want to say that this one is about 11 inches to a foot long probably about four to five inches wide this way and then a good three inches tall so this one is a really nice deep drawer organizer I love this for the bottom drawers I definitely want to see if I can find more of these so over here this is how I decided to store my foundations when it came to my foundations I went through a lot of storage options I had one of these originally for my foundations and it just wasn't really working out for me I wasn't really enjoying how this stored my foundations I do think that if you have a ton of foundations and you are able to kind of stand them up um, so that the caps are on top and that they're really snug to each other that it'll work out but with just a few foundations the bin just kept kind of um, they just kind of kept falling down in the bin so I wanted more of a storage where I could kind of have them laying down but still kind of displayed at the same time so this is what I found this one I actually showed in the recent vlog as well this one is the Whitmore 3 section drawer organizer. I found this for $2.99 at Marshalls or this retails for about three and change on Amazon. I will have it linked down below. Basically, I'll just show you guys. I'll take it out so you can see. It just has three compartments and I just really loved how this stored my foundations because I could see all of them. They're not stacked on top of each other and especially when it comes to all the glass bottles, I wanted to make sure my foundations were nice and secure and really couldn't fall over or anything like that so if you're going to be using these organizers you can only get two of these next to each other and two of these next to each other or one of each next to each other this is just what I have these are really super cheap again these are literally like three dollars each and I really just wanted to try to find the cheapest way to organize every drawer because I did end up needing a lot of organizers so that is how I organized that drawer so in this next drawer down this is another deep drawer of the Alex drawer in here I house all of my lip products so lip glosses tube lipsticks liquid lipsticks ColourPop, lippy pencils everything like that so the organization that i have in this drawer is again another one of these bins that i mentioned in my previous drawer that i got from marshall's this is the little bit of a bigger one and this one houses all of my liquid lipsticks i really love how this stores my liquid lipsticks because i can keep them separated nicely by brand and stuff like that as well as there's a lot of room to stack so as you can see i have about two layers of liquid lipsticks here and there are room for maybe about another two or three layers so i really like how many liquid lipsticks that this can hold and i just thought that it was a really cute and easy way to house all of my liquid lipsticks in this next container here this is another one of those story containers that came in that pack of six in here i like to keep smaller things again like i've been mentioning throughout this video like lippy pencils lippy sticks and things like that i just love this and there is so much room for growth when you use these because they are smaller i could stick another one here i could do another one horizontally back there i just really like using these because they are so small and convenient and house products so nicely on the side here i have a lipstick holder this isn't super ideal for me for these products I would have much rather had like one of those taller lip gloss holders or something like that but I figured that I wanted to use what I had and this I didn't recently purchase this I kind of just had sitting around my room from some old makeup organization this is from home goods again it was really inexpensive I got it a while back though and I just like how all my products look standing up and it fits really nicely in the drawer and this is one of those that is a little bit slanted so the back layer is a little bit taller and as you can see I did kind of try to arrange everything like that down the side so that I could get the most usage of space out of this drawer and then the last thing in here that I used to store my lipsticks this is probably the one thing that I splurged a little bit on this one is from the brand by allegory and this is a 24 lipstick holder 
I really love this. It is so nice. Again, this is just like that real hard acrylic amazing. It's actually the same um, brand and the same type of make as the palette holder. This is just so good. I absolutely love how this stores the lipsticks and I love that it's flat so that you can easily fit them side by side. So this lipstick organizer was almost $13. It was $12.96 and the dimensions are 8.6 inches long. It's going to be a three and a half inches wide and then 1.4 inches tall this way so again it fits really awesome in these drawers I love how it stores my lipsticks and they do come in different shades I believe that you can get like a frosted one or even like a black one but I just like the typical clear acrylic I think that looks the prettiest in the drawers so that is how I went ahead and organized my lippy drawer I really love it again all these organizers were super inexpensive the only one that was a little bit more pricey was the lipstick the bigger lipstick organizer but I think it's so worth it and it is just the perfect way to store my lipstick sticks. And the last drawer that I have here is again another one of the deeper drawers. This one I don't have much organization when it comes to like um, the acrylic organizers and the containers and stuff. The only thing that I do have in here is this wired bin. Again, this was from like a home goods or something like that. In here, it's pretty messy. I just have stuff that I'm decluttering and selling on Depop. And then I really just have all my palettes, uh, my other palettes down here stacked on top of each other. But again, as far as that drawer goes, there's really not much organization. That is just how I kind of threw everything in there. All right, you guys, so that completes my Alex5 organization video. I hope that I gave you guys all the information that you guys need. I hope that I helped you guys. Definitely let me know if you have any questions about any of these organizers, about any products that might fit in here or whatever, something like that. And I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy. Well, that was really close. <laughs> Definitely like this video if you did enjoy and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. As always, feel free to leave me any questions or comments. Make sure you are following my social medias, all that good stuff is down in the description box down below. And as always, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.